Hello, Mary Meat. So I want to review a tarot deck. It is one of the decks I promised to review after my last Nafika's Occult Findings, and it is Blow Cap Tarot. This is a book and deck set, and it's by Beth Salomon. Her. I'm horrible at pronunciations. Anyway, this is a very nice deck. It's very simple and yet full of detail and symbolism. So it is definitely a deck that I uh, myself really like. So let's get started. And here you can see the Asperger in me. When something's crooked, I have to correct this may count. Ah, okay. Anyway, uh, it's in a very nice and sturdy box. The company that made this is uh, Schiffer, and it has this little ribbon that you pull the box open with, and it looks this on the inside, the decorations everywhere. Well, of course. Here we have the little book, and here we have the cards. Here are the back of the cards. Like I said, it's a very simple deck. I know some uh, cartomancers has been um, somewhat tired of the enormity of some decks. There's details here and details there, and it's this deck very much gets back to basics, but at the same time being very elegant. I would call this deck very classy. Alright, let's get to the deck in a moment. Let's have a look at the little book first. So, it uh, begins with a dedication and all of that. It has some content. And basically, what this is, it's a bit of an upgraded little white book. I will not call this a book and deck kit like some decks have, where you have a complete several hundred pages book to tell you about it. It is a little white book, it's just a somewhat big version of it. So it has an introduction. It has this, uh, some information on the streets, uh, about uprights and reversals, and then it has the major arcana. And a, every card gets about a big paragraph. We just go through them. And here we have the court cards, which also gets a page. And the minor corner gets a page. This is something I do like. Unlike a lot of tarot decks, the minor corner, which is actually almost as important as the major arcana gets just as much information. Very often you have information on the major arcana and then you just have a couple of uh, notes on the minor arcana, but this doesn't do that. So yeah, does it give you enough information to start reading tarot? Yeah, no. I would recommend that you do get a tarot book with this because it gives you the basic information so you can technically start reading with it. It doesn't really give you enough. But it's still a nice little book. And especially if you are new to reading tarot, this is a handy size to just have with you and check up on what the various cards do. So, yeah. And of course, we have some spreads in the back. Let's find them. Uh, you have a looking out my window spread. I like this because it's a new one. Every book about have the Celtic cross and such. So I'm happy when I see a new one and it fits well with the with the deck. Uh, uh, serving reality. So it has two uh, two. A unique 
I at least haven't seen them anywhere else. Spreads that do fit the deck very well, and I do like that. And of course, these spreads can be used by for everything, every other kind of tarot, and quite a few other oracle cards as well. I like it when these little white books have some original spreads because really, if you want to use the horseshoe or the Celtic cross, you'll find those everywhere. So something new that actually makes it worth the price of admission for me. And here we have the Autry. Seems like a nice lady. A little bit about her. And yes, some artwork of the cards. So, this is just a little white book. It isn't a true book and card set that has a complete book. But, it's a pretty decent little white book. Well, now that I have blabbered on for six minutes about the book, let's the card. Of course, we have this intro card, so some more title and advertisement, and here we have cards themselves. So, it fits well with the uh, style of cards, but at the same time being very simple. I would say that, to a certain degree, it looks almost like... Uh, almost like uh, Simon's cat. In some ways. Anyway, here we have. Like, I did say the other ones was the back of the cards, but I lied. It's these ones. I have just forgotten. Those were just. Uh, this was just the basically Shifer logo, I mean. These are the backs of the cards. And I actually think this artwork is very, very pretty. Here we have the Magician. Because it's simple, it doesn't overwhelm you. As such, I think this is a very good deck for beginners. The High Priestess. The symbolism is there. Uh, for example, here we have the Empress. She sits on a flower pot, she has kittens around her. And there's a tree there. It does definitely convey uh, the idea of growing things, of um, fertility, all of those things that the Emperor stands for, well, it's very simple and easy to understand. So, it is a semi rather white clone in that it does follow the main concept of the symbol uh, symbolism in the rather white deck, but it doesn't pull it completely. As such, for magical systems that requires a Rider White style deck, this won't do it. However, if you know the Rider White deck and have learned that system, you will be able to read with this very nicely. And like I said, the pictures are very self-explanatory, they're very simple. It has nice symbolism, but not very complicated symbolism. So it's definitely a deck I recommend for beginners. And like I said, I just can't get enough of this. It's so beautiful. The card stock is quite good. It the cards are feel solid. They are not glossy. They have a sort of old fashioned uh, feel to them, and they feel very good in the hand. So yeah, I I have very good things to say about this deck. It's new cat stuff. What it is. And it is very different. Let us find some... So, this is the tower. Just to show again some of those. It does take up the symbolism. It just does it in a... unique way. The moon. But let's look at some... Minor Arcana cards. They have, of course, renamed the renamed the seats as many team decks do. And what I like about this is that while it is a themed deck, it's not a novelty deck. It's definitely a deck meant to be read with. 
but it still fits the theme very well. So we have plants. And as you can see, even the minor arcana are are um, fully illustrated. Feather for air. More feathers just because I like the art of the card. So if you like very very complicated decks, tissues for cups. Uh, then this might not be for you, but if you want something simple and elegant, that sort of it sort of also reminds me a bit about those uh, gypsy cards that uh, were common a while ago. It has just a simple elegance to it. And balls for coins and plant is of course them. Uh, it's of course them once. That's one thing I would perhaps have changed since um, coins is for earth. I would perhaps have growing things as plants for earth, but yeah. It works since the plants are all grown very sticky. So yeah. I really like this deck. Is it perfect? No, of course not. But I'll give this deck a 9 out of 10. It's very well made. And if you like something easy and simple and elegant, I think this is a great deck for you. And the same if you collect tarot decks, and this is definitely something different for your collection. And I like the box it comes in, I like the little ribbon details and all of those things, it just looks classy. And of course those ribbon details and such makes it a lot nicer to give away as a gift than many other decks. So, yeah. That is my review of Blue Cat Carol by Beth Salonen. It's a good deck. Have a great day. And blessed be.